This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2004 Ford F-250 Super Cab. That's a four-door extra cab, long bed. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's two-wheel drive. It's XLT, which is cloth with windows, locks, etc. Um, it was a new car dealer trade to Larry Miller Ford in Mesa, Arizona, which is Phoenix. And uh, it's a really nice truck. Really nice truck. Um, brought it here. Expected it, nothing to do except send it to detail. Um, we call these old man trucks because of the way they run and the way they look and the whole bit. Um, it's a one owner, I'll show you the auto check. That'll be linked into our ad for, ad for this vehicle also. And uh, you know, people who put uh, nice Michelins on what is essentially probably about, I don't know, 40% tread on the front. People who do that, that tells you all you need to know. <laughs> the, that's a, a very expensive set of tires on an 04. So he loved this truck. Um, it's been up in the air. I always pressure spray the undercarriage and leave them up in the air at night. See if there's any leaking or anything. There was nothing under this thing. There was zero, zero. Um, which is really unusual. Almost every diesel truck does, but this one did not. Um, a little bit of a scratch right here. My job in these videos is to uh, not tell you what I want you to hear or something. It's just to give you the straight lowdown. And that way, you will know what's right and more importantly, what's wrong. And then we don't have drama. Um, I do see a, there's a crack in this lower mirror, which is not a big deal, but Again, if I see something, I'm gonna point it out, even if it's little and may, may not be little to you. So anyway, rear tires look like they're about 60 or 70% tread. As you saw when I looked behind that wheel, it does have air suspension, so you got the air plugs right here, right? Got a rubber mat in here. And the inside of the, I'll bet you he probably didn't have this tailgate in the truck often. He's probably towing or whatever. So that's why the, usually the inside of the tailgates looks terrible. And that one looks brand new. So I'm guessing the tailgate probably resided in his garage on the, on the ground somewhere, leaning up against the wall. Anyway, let me fire this guy up. It's still 100 degrees in old Tucson right now, so. All right, one, glow plugs are going. There we go. Let's see if I can get you some light, some shade here. 127,146 miles are on the truck right now. Open the hood. It's a nice truck, really nice truck. Ford stamp here, so yeah, you have an original fender. That's nice. When they, when you see that they maintain the air filter, the aftermarket air filter, it's really clean. That's cool. Ford stamp on the core support. Um, let's see. Ford stamp here. Ford stamp here. All that matters because that means you got original parts. Ford stamp on the hood. All good news. Let's see what the blow-by looks like. Wow, that's fantastic. There you go. There you go. Somebody's gonna be loving this one. And I locked myself out of that side, which is why I always leave this side open because I tend to do that. So I guess we'll just start with this side then. Window, window, mirrors out in up down other side out in up and down tilt wheel boom 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 windshield wipers look at how good the seat looks too i can also tell you he was not a big person because fat people 
large people. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend anyone. I know there's some snowflakes out there. Um, the bolster of the seat gets destroyed very quickly if you're large. <laughs> so that didn't happen here. There's your back seat here. Headliner looks great. There's your bin sticker. Right. Go back to this side. Hopefully I was smart enough to leave it unlocked. Who knows? Might, might have to make another lap. Nope. We're good. Seats look brand new. <coughs> it's amazing how good they look. It's a Phoenix vehicle, so when you look down there on a Colorado vehicle, you're always worried about rust. Not this one. This one hasn't seen enough water <laughs> in its life to make a difference. Door lock. Okay. All right. Here's uh, This will be linked in the ad also. There's your van. This is the vehicle history report for the truck. Extended cab, 6.0. Give you a range of 55 to 72. It came in as an 82. So way above average score. One owner. No accident damage. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It's an, obviously, it's an Arizona truck. Mesa all the way down here. Mesa, 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 Mesa. And there's all the services and stuff. You can all look at all that stuff. And see all these services that they've done. This thing was very pampered. That I can tell you just by looking at it. Driving it, you can tell also, but... was coming it started to let me get my seatbelt on here so we don't go nuts with that bringer there we go all right there's that we'll put it in reverse you can see in front of the reverse here Boom. no problem there obviously let's see it's got a sticker here uh, Larry Miller Ford, next uh, oil change at 125.415. Um, that's an old one, huh? Five, oh, that's a, that's a 2021. <laughs> I think it's probably had a dozen <laughs> since then, or actually not that many. It's only got 127, so it's probably had one oil change since then. Old person, COVID, that's, thus the lack of miles in the last year and a half. Interesting. It's so weird. When you look at cars, auto checks, you'll see these huge voids between like mid-2020 and the end of 2021 uh, for mileage. You're like, how come it, you know, and then you think back at the end, oh, it's because we were all in our living room. <laughs> Nobody was going anywhere. That's why. Anyway, let's see. All right, if you come to Tucson to drive at home, this is what you'll pay. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing else. Once we receive full payment by wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will scan it in your online file and we will mail it to you. We'll even scan in the envelope we mail it in. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. If you need help with shipping, if you are gonna pay by wire and ship out of state, let me know at the time of purchase so I can get on it. Uh, once we receive full payment, I'll get that thing on the truck as fast as I can. Um, if you're gonna do it yourself, very important things to, you know, when you're looking for quotes, tell them it's a, it's a super cab, not a crew cab. It's a single rear wheel, which is obviously, it's a 250, but they'll still ask. And uh, tell them it's a long bed. Uh, you don't want them to come all the way there and then scream at you because you left something out like it's a long bit. So, that's what you do if you're going to do it yourself. But if you need help, let me know at the time of purchase. Um, we can roll the price of the truck into the pro into the total price so you pay for one time for the shipping and for the truck. Um, but you're welcome to do the shipping yourself. Uh, but, 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 but what else? Deposits $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Please get your deposit in. Okay, 
Once we have that deposit, we will take it offline uh, and it won't be for sale. It has to stay online until we have a deposit, all right? Um, what else? La, 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 la. It's a nice truck. It's a nice feel. I drive so many 6.0s. Some of them are rough, some of them, you know. When they never modify them, like this truck hasn't been modified and you take care of them, change the oil and all that stuff, none of the weird stuff happens. Just don't modify the trucks. God, it drives me nuts. I hate tune trucks. I hate no cat trucks because you know that somebody's tried to make them fast. It's so stupid. God, it costs them a fortune in the long run, too. Um, anyway, back to the truck. Um, get your deposit. Last part of every video, I say the same thing every time. And just so you know, we just got off of Prince Road. This is the Prince Road on-ramp on the I-10. Uh, especially in diesel trucks, I like to let people see them drive down the interstate. So, lots of cops right here, so I gotta be really careful not to uh, pull off a ticket here. I'm just gonna stay in this lane and go up to the next off-ramp at Ruthroff. But, let's see if I can get it going a little bit faster without rear-ending this guy in front of me. This thing's smooth. This is, this is a cruiser truck. I like this truck a lot. Anyway, um, we don't have all the bells and whistles that the new car dealer has when they sell something on their used car property. We don't have salesmen to pay commissions to. We don't have a fancy fountain out front. We don't have beautiful pavement. Um, we don't have a attendants serving scones and lattes, bottled water with our name on it, all that crap. Um, so you don't have to pay for that when you buy from us, okay? You also get a lot of truth. If there's something really wrong, we will tell you something that's really wrong. If we know it, you will know it, okay? We're not Nostradamus. We don't know when something's gonna break, but if it's already broken and we're not fixing it for whatever reason, we'll tell you, okay? Uh, that's how we roll. Now, in exchange for that, you are the owner on day one. Um, if we wanted to, we would just uh, charge $2,000 more for the truck and that way, and just lie our asses off when you call them you know, yelled at us for a window switch not working or whatever not working, we would just reach into that extra $2,000 we charged you like they do at the auto mall and fix it. That's all. You know, and, or if it's like worse than that, we would just, you know, an injector or whatever, we would just buy it back and sell it to the next guy. That's what they do. We don't. We give you all this information, a bunch of uh, HD photos, um, the auto check, uh, you know everything we can take the oil cap off while it's running so you can see blow by so that you have the highest percentage of success you could possibly have but in exchange for all that with no bullshit you also are the owner on day one if that doesn't work for you and you like well if it comes here and it's got uh, you know anything wrong a window motor a door lock doesn't work or a mirror decides not to work or something like that and you're gonna call us up for a check it ain't gonna work we're not gonna get along okay um, use the money you saved by buying from us, which is a lot. Not, it's not hundreds, it's thousands. Um, and fix it. This is a badass truck. I like this truck a lot. Um, so we're going to go from zero here. I can go a little faster here. So this is a gas truck right next to us. Z71. Boy. Oh, I love when they don't modify trucks. They, they run like this. This is what you're supposed to do, people. And when you get this truck, don't tune it. God, don't lift it. Don't change the tire size. Just drive it and change the fluids a lot. You don't need to bulletproof it or anything. Now, if you do want to bulletproof it, we do offer that for customers if they're concerned um, with, the, with the EGR issue about six O's. $2,900, we'll take it to our shop Monsoon. They'll do a new Ford oil cooler and a new uh, bulletproof EGR cooler. Um, gaskets, fluids, coolant, all that's new. But based on the fact that it has no blow by whatsoever and it runs like crazy, um, it's been maintained, which means nothing got nasty into the uh, EGR cooler and uh, it's good to go. I would not spend that money if I were you. But if you want to, it's a fantastic buy. I mean, that's a $5,000 deal. And we only give that to people, uh, offer that to people who buy from us. We don't uh, offer it to people who, um, you know, bought from us and then six months later, they're like, you know what? Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, because that's a very expensive thing to do, time consuming, and uh, we have to work real hard to keep that price at that number. So, 
Anyway, we're at the school crossing zone right now, so I'm just going to talk here. These videos can be 17 minutes and 38 seconds long. That's what the uh, HD, uh, HD card allows for. And uh, right now I'm in the uh, crossing lane, and I don't want to uh, hit any children's. See, we got some school here. Just got out. Not a, actually a good time to be doing this, but I'm really, I'm just like have my camera on the cluster, my head is up. So I can pay attention to children instead of myself, which is what we're supposed to be doing, right? All right. All right, we're out of there. Now we can uh, proceed on. four-way stop here a couple blocks away from our yard and there we go what is a nice truck it's so weird when you drive when you drive trucks like this you just know who owned them I could picture this guy. Just a great old dude. 78. You know, bought a brand new, you know, whatever. What is it? 20 years ago. And, you know, drove it on summer trips every year. And that was that. You know? And just a very diligent person. Takes, takes good care of his stuff. So I'm here at the stop sign. I'm going to wait for this guy to turn left. And then we'll go. I had to get my phone out to open the gate. Wow. This is outstanding. This one's outstanding. All right, so I got my little phone here, my little phone app right here. See, open gate. Let's see if it works. My brother's been working on this thing. So let's see if uh, we have an open gate when we get there. All right, 17 minutes and 12 seconds. So we're just about out of time. Anyway. This is a beautiful truck. Um, I would feel very good about owning this if I were you. Um, and that's that. And the gate is opening. This phone app worked. All right. Now I'm going to hand this off to him, and he's going to take some photos, and it'll go online. Thank you for your time.